both teams suffered heavy defeats on the opening weekend, so it was vital to make things up on match day two. France boss Oscar Garcia felt the 4-1 scoreline of the Orange Velodrome was harsh on his side. Now they face Pascal Gastien's Clermont thumped by PSG, but aware their league future wouldn't be defined by clashes with the champions. This just the third ever Ligue 1 Uber Eats meeting between the pair, and it was a classic. Florent Augier with a fistful of the shirt of Florian Balogun. Johan Amel with a penalty to point and a booking to give out. Laurie Diao, the second keeper to concede five plus goals in his first game in the top flight in the 21st century. And another followed from the spot. The last penalty taken by Adumbia was missed, but Kamori isn't Musa. Two goals in May, his first of this campaign. Well, Dumbia and Balogun were a major threat, and they forced another error and saw another spot kick. Johan Magna pleading his case with Amel, even sitting down protest, but it wasn't enough. Last time Rennes had two penalties in the same home match, they did lose to Rennes 3 2 in round 31 last season. But this time they scored both of them despite Tiao getting so close. Balogun adding to his consolation at the Orange Velodrome against Marseille. Scoring in successive matches. Tiao with seven conceded in two matches. Lorraine had lost only one of the last 13 games against Clermont in all competitions. That didn't look like changing. Well, that was until the second half kicked off. Vosco Garcia looked animated at half time. Imagine how he was come full time in this one. Just two minutes after the break, Emmanuel Agbadu losing the flight of the ball, fouling Komnen Andrich, receiving the fourth red card of his career, a first in Liga Uber Eats, just his second start for his new club. Well, referee Johan Amel had been busy, he didn't see much despite Mitchell van Bergen's guilty looking reaction. Patrice Pence, replacement for Predrag Radjkovic, looked nonchalant, but it was clear for Clermont. And eventually, VAR was called to the party. The worrying sign when a penalty is in the offing is when the referee goes over to the screen. Rarely does he come back without pointing to the spot. Two penalties given in the first half. And soon it was clear a third was coming. This time for the visitors. A booking for the Dutchman. And a big chance for the million euro signing from Diamo Zagreb. Well, Andrich, could he replace the goals of Mo Bayo? He certainly was going to try. Clermont now with a man up and just a goal behind. And that goal coming just on 51 minutes. Plenty of time. Oscar Garcia tried to turn the flow by sending on El Belao Toure. But it was turning out to be nothing but a Clermont freight train. A second for Andrich. Coming just 11 minutes after his first. Florent Augier's assist. Amends for giving away a penalty right at the start. But if Rance thought drawing level was bad, it was about to get a lot worse. Andrew Gavillon giving away the free kick, taken by Johan Gastien, son of boss Pascal, who signed a new two-year deal, and he would celebrate it with a quick assist. Austrian under-21 midfielder Mohamed Cham was ready and waiting. A beautiful goal from the youngster. He had two loan spells away from Clermont, the last though back in the Austrian Bundesliga. He got 15 goals in 29 appearances, already up and running in France's top flight. Well, if that was a sweet strike, wait for the goal that confirmed Clermont a stunning 4-2 win. A blast from Jeremy Bella, 2-2 to 4-2 in a five-minute double salvo. The 29-year-old's last goal came in April for Birmingham in a dead rubber against Cardiff. This one meaning an awful lot more. A first win in just the club's third top-flight meeting. 
from 5-0 in Paris, 2-0 down at half-time. Reims imploded, but Clermont producing a stunning recovery to earn their first points and win.